Let's go and create Jenkins freestyle project using Maven and Git. Using this freestyle project, let's take code from Git. Let's compile it. Let's test it. Let's build a package and create a word file out of it. Let's connect to Jenkins machine. Let's create a new job here. So we're going with freestyle project. We have sample Maven application in my Git repository. And this is the one we are going to use for our demos. So if you observe, this is a Java based application which uses Maven, which has prompted XML here. So under source code management, it should be git, the URL of the git. So in my case, it's a public repository, so it doesn't require any credentials. In case, if you guys are cloning a private repository, we need to add credentials using this option. You can put your username, password, ID and description, and you can use that information to clone the repository, which is a private. And please select the branch you want to build. So build triggers, let's see later. Build. So we need to go with invoke top level Maven targets. So here we need to mention only goals, meaning, right, we should not include MVN. This plugin automatically prefixes with MVN command when we execute this job. So we should not put MVN here. We need to simply mention the goals i'm saying clean package so it's going to delete if there is any existing output which is created by previous build and it's going to create a fresh new package out of it let's save this let's build it the job got failed let's see why it got failed open this okay it says this maven clean package fatal command execution failed no such file or directory it says this maven command is not found and the reason is we added the path of maven in ect user so we added the path for this user but in case of jenkins jenkins runs all the commands using jenkins user so because in in jenkins profile this path is not available. That's the reason it's failing. So we have a solution for this. So what we can do is we can configure Maven location in Jenkins as well. Let's get into manage Jenkins. So we have global tool configuration. Under this, we can specify the location of Maven. So we need to add Maven instances here. So give some meaningful friendly name. I'm giving it as Maven3. So there is option to automatically install, but we already installed it. We need to mention the location of the Maven installation directory. It is opt. And this is the home directory. Let's save it. So we added the location of Maven. So Jenkins can pick that Maven and it can use the Maven command for executing our job. Let's come back to Jenkins home. Let's configure this job again. So under build, we can select this Maven version. The one which we configured in that global tool configuration, it appears automatically here. So based on this information, now Jenkins locates the Maven home directory and it automatically locates the MVN command under that bin. Save, let's build it again. Let's open the console and see the progress of it. Yeah, now it's able to run the command. It's downloading all the dependencies for this application. 
Jenkins job successfully completed, it also created a package for us. This is a very simple example, freestyle project example, where we are taking the latest code from Git and we are compiling it, executing test cases and creating a package out of it.